Would you have predicted this, Paul Eric? Well, I would say I'm a bit surprised that uh, Taufik really didn't come up with anything. Uh, once he felt the defeat at the net, he was not really in control of the game. He should come up with a fighting spirit, I, and I, I miss that fighting spirit. But you also know that Taufik, even though that seems quite easy, and Lee Chung, Chung Wai obviously is about to cruise his way through to the finals, you never know about Taufik. All of a sudden, he can he can be there, he can be in the zone, being focused on what, why he's here, and he can come up with tremendous good, uh, a good game. So uh, even though that Lee Chung Wai is a favorite, I would say, never rule out Taufik. For one twenty seconds, for one twenty seconds. Malaysia! Malaysia! Well, certainly, the Indonesian has got to lift his game. He's got to show that he's got more passion, more fight, because he gave up that just too easily. And I just thought as the Second opening game, game went on, Double. that Lee Chong Wai Way was growing and growing in confidence. Yeah. Well, he hit seven of his nine smashes beforehand side when he won the point in the opening game. And there's another one, one. and it really pays off, I think. One very important thing for Taufik is, from the start, be ready. Because if, if Lee Chung Wai feels his confidence coming in from the start of second set, then it will be difficult for Taufik. That last smash, 264 kilometers an hour, it's just under 165 miles an hour. That's it, 200. And then 100, what am I talking about? Okay, that would be a smash, wouldn't it? of the court. Yeah, no wonder his coach is looking very, very uneasy. to now suddenly find his form and his range is incredibly difficult. there that very few players in the world could have done. He's lunging towards the net and yet still gets back in time to retrieve the lift over his head. as well because the very last previous rally had gone for the net kill and hadn't made it. Oh, 
has not found his range, has he? Well, that was mightily close. in the crowd are actually trying to encourage Taufik Kidiat because they'd love to see more of this match. So much expectation of these two players meeting each other in this All England semi-final. And yet, it hasn't lived up to expectation. from Hidayat. Paul Eric, when you're having a day that is just a bad day and things aren't working, what did you say to yourself to, to keep yourself going and try to play yourself into the match? Well, it's, it's a very tactical um, game, badminton, and uh, you know, you have to focus on the next rally on the next rally so even though that you know it's not really working for me work out the next rally that is very important in order to get into the right momentum and it seems as if Tavik maybe slowly is picking up something uh, he certainly had a good smash just the rally before and he was moving a bit better on the court There's just no explanation for it. We all have bad days. And I think sometimes you get into a situation where the harder you try, the worse it gets. And to be honest, I think Lee Chong Wei has been on the end of that in the Olympic final in Beijing last year. So desperately wanted to do well. off his smash under normal circumstances. Well, he's really trying now to get through with his offensive game and um, I think it's the right time to do it. And maybe that will give him some confidence because he's really not showing a lot of confidence by playing Lee Chung Wai around on the court. He needs to come up with an offensive power play now. The 
smash, knew that the reply had to be a block, straight back to the net. And he came storming forward. just sensed how important it was actually for the Indonesian to get into the lead. I think that could prove to be an important rally. Nobody immediately gets the next rally. Service over, nine, four. few mistakes in his defense in the forehand. He needs to cover that a bit better. Oh, clever smash. He's been hitting so many smashes, as you say, down the forehand side. Suddenly switching it, hitting straight at his opponent. And he has a two-point advantage at the mid-game interval as he talks to Lisbon Sadek. Crikey, look at that. 12 of the 14 winning shots from the Malaysian directed down the Indonesian's forehand side. Lisbon Sadek, of course, runner-up at the All England Championships back in 1986, lost out to Morton Frost. For one, 20 seconds, for one, and little brother, I think you beat in the final of the All England Championships in 96. Eleven, nine, play. in his style of play. Started with a flick serve, and I believe that was the first one of the match. And he's back on level terms. Yeah. 
by the Malaysian. Looking to pounce on the shuttle at the net, and I'm sure his sheer presence and all looking to come forward forced his opponent into error. Watching at right now, it's uh, how long the rallies is being kept, and uh, it seems as if it's not very long rallies right, right now, and that, and that is an advantage for Taufik in the end. So, uh... well, having said that, it was a very long rally that one. It's been the curse of the commentator. It is, yeah, <laughs> I must say. Yeah, it was a good rally, though. 14, 12. Flat fast exchanges. Good intensity. 239. It's close to 149 miles per hour. Oh. Too casual. Thought that the rally was already won. 50, 12. And this is a run of four straight points. Seven, six, nine. The engineers will be mightily relieved that that run has come 30, to an end. 50. He's just not able to man maintain his level of play, rally after rally. Goes through little phases, does the Indonesian. of his movement. Fair point advantage. Second game now. 18, 13. Blazing now has won eight of the last nine rallies. And he's just two points away from his first ever All England final. it would take today in the semi-final. The former Olympic champion Taufik Hidiak, perhaps those earlier matches, the three matches he's played so far where he went to three games in the first two rounds, 
And then a very tough semi uh, quarter final against the former champion Peter Gaeta. And I wonder if that took its physical toll. But one thing is certain Lee Chong Wei is in great form 21 8, 21 13, and he's in the final.